Hello guys, hope you're all having a great day and welcome to my channel, The Beer Monster Reviews. Uh, got another one to review here from the uh, Yeasty Boys. Um, again, I got this from uh, my local corner shop, Premier, £1.99, small 330ml can. Um, now, the complaint I had about the other ones, I thought it was quite expensive for what it was, a lager and all that. This one's a Session IPA. Um, perhaps you can get these cheaper elsewhere, I don't know. I mean, it is a corner shop, you know, so maybe I was a bit harsh on the last one. Um, it's 4.4% ABV. It says on the can, a light and easy drinker, bursting with sun-kissed South Pacific hops, uh, like an antipodium summer packed in a can. Let's see what it's like, I suppose. It's vegan friendly. Uh, yeasty boys, uh, like the brewery, are based in New Zealand. Uh, so yeah, let's see what it's all about, shall we? Let's crack it open and see what sort of aroma we get from it. Why are my lights flickering like that? It's like it's Christmas. Uh, sort it out. There we go, that's better. Um, <laughs> let's uh, see what we can get. Well, it sort of fizzed out the can a little bit on the opening. Oh, it smells nice. It's getting sort of lemon and lime. Very citrusy, a bit of grapefruit. Yeah, very lemony. It does smell really nice, I must say. And uh, let's get it in the glass. There we go. Oh, yeah, I haven't smelt, just smelt that. I'm looking forward to trying this. And it looks like a lovely colour as well. It's like a, a straw colour. Yellowy, very yellowy. Almost looks like a sort of lemon juice. But quite, quite a big, big, <laughs> big head on that. Foamy, very white, brilliant white head, uh, as you can see. Carbonation wise, uh, low, I'd say a low, there's low carbonation on that, which you're probably not going to pick up because it is very hazy, as you can see. Um, yeah, it's very low carbonated, but it is there. I can see it mostly towards the top of the glass. Don't know if you're picking it up, but it, it is there. Let's get that last little bit in. Well, there's, there's loads of sediment coming out. I don't know if you can pick that up. There's literally shit floating about everywhere. Can you see that? Oh, me, I'm talking to you as if you're going to answer me back. But yeah, I think you are, can pick some of it up. There's like massive rocks in there. I love all that though. Don't bother me one bit, guys. Let's uh, it's tuck in, guys. Cheers, guys. Let's see what this is all about. First impressions is definitely better than the Hellers I've done. It's pretty good actually. There's a nice bitterness to this. Let's go again. Mm. It's absolutely slaughterable, this one. It's disgustingly slaughterable. There's a, a nice bit in this, kind of a low to medium level. It just lingers throughout. It's really, really nice. Um, not getting much carbonation from it. But that does give it quite a nice mouthfeel. So, I think it suits it not being that carbonated. Though perhaps I'd prefer it to be a little bit more carbonated, if I'm perfectly honest. It's very citrusy. Grapefruit in there, quite a bit of grapefruit, lemon. It's nice, there's kind of like a grassiness uh, to the hops. Yeah, I'm impressed. This is this is decent. This is this one is actually worth two quid a can. There's some like tropical fruit in there as well. No one thing sort of stands out. It's more of a kind of blend, blended together sort of overall tropical taste for me uh, on the back end. 
it's got like quite a juicy kind of feeling about it as well as the sort of zesty feel yeah it's got it all really i mean it's it's what you want bitter throughout nice and citrusy juicy nice mouth feel a little bit thin maybe i'd say thin to medium body with a nice sweet finish. Oh, just looking at that stuff at the bottom of the glass there. Now you're picking that up, that's mad. It's like a little island formed in the bottom of my glass. I don't think you can pick it up. Anyway, guys, <laughs> enough about that. Just uh, blabbering on. Yeah, for me, this one's pretty good. Uh, this one is worth a buy. Um, if you just fancy a couple of nice beers, um, it would be quite expensive to drink drink it all night, I suppose. But um, yeah, I do like this. I've enjoyed trying this one. And so far from the two beers I've tried from the Yeasty Boys, this one is my favourite. And the other one was pretty good as well. Just to be in a lager in a small can, a low ABV-ish, I just didn't think it was worth a buy. Uh, this one's got a bit more sank about it. Uh, with, same with the lager, ridiculously smashable. <coughs> um, yeah, they really are very, very easy drinking beers. Both of the beers I've tried from these guys, so I'm looking forward to trying some more. We've only got the two in my corner shop, so I don't really know where else to get them from, but now that I've tried them and like them, I will keep my eyes open. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Smash that like button. And... Uh, I forgot to give it a rating. I'm going to go 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, a solid 8 as well. This is decent. Uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Smash that like button. And uh, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of me, smash the subscribe button as well. Bye-bye, darlings. See you on the next one.